everybody, it's Michelle Marie Delenio. Of course, it is Cinco de Mayo. Uh, happy celebration in Mexico uh, for Cinco de Mayo. I found out it was actually a celebration of a battle in a uh, certain Mexican province. And uh, before we get started today, I want to do this ahead of time. So I'll let you know this. Me and Lumi are going to give you another chance to ask us anything Fridays. And to do this, it's very simple. All you have to do is send us your questions by email or US mail, whichever the case may be, by 11 p.m. Eastern Time. That's on Thursday. That'll give us at least a day to research the material before we record the program on Friday. Again, that's Welcome to Our World program will be recorded on Friday, but the questions that you ask, as long as we get them by Thursday. If we don't get them by Thursday, then they will be held off until the next Ask Us Anything, which we hope to have in another week. Now, um, the questions you can ask is almost anything and everything, yeah, I know that's guaranteed to be bad news for some many questions. Could be get kind of vulgar, nasty, and downright and ugly. Uh, if they're really, if you're really going for shock value, I must warn you that more than likely your question will be ignored. Uh, if it's a question that is sincere, and please, no potty mouth. Um, we will love to answer the question for you and. Uh, help you a part of our questions. If we get repeats of a question, uh, we're going to just answer the question one time, obviously not multiple times. So if you got, you and say about three or four other people got the same question, we're going to answer just one of your questions. Uh, but we'll add the term at all to the end of the question to know, let you know that there's more than one person asking the same question. Um, and so that will be starting from now until Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. You have to get those questions ready to be answered on Friday. So that's Ask Us Anything. And you can send your questions to uh, mbichela3 at gmail.com for me or L-U-M-I-F-I-N-I-S-T-R-A for Lumi. It's also at gmail.com. Or, of course, on Google Plus at plus Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-E space M-A-R-I-E space D-S and dog A-L-E-N-E or plus L-U-M-I space F-I-N-I-S-T-R-A. Uh, you may ask multiple questions if you desire. If you have one of us in particular to answer the question, Please specify uh, for who the questions are being asked to be answered by. So that if it's for Lomi, say Lomi. If it's for me, just say me. So we, can, we don't get everybody mixed up. That's, so that's something we're going to try again. We tried it once before with no luck. Maybe this time we'll do better. Also, we're going to be working on doing some, uh, we'd like to do some live interviews with people as well. Um, but that's something a little bit later on. We'll work on that. If you want to be a part of a live interview, I will explain the details on that in a little bit. Today, I wanted to talk about some mistakes I made. Um, and because I'm human, okay, I make mistakes like everybody else. And this is no exception to the rule. I bought this brand new and I made one mistake. I ordered one that was too small. So I'm giving this one away to the soup kitchen. Uh, I'm putting it on the giving table so you can get a corset. It says it's a size 4X, which is 37 to 38 inches, new, never worn. That's will be on the soup kitchen, including instructions, so that you can have a corset of your own if you happen to be able to wear a size. Uh, you got a 37 38 inch waist. Um, this might be just a good bet for you. It might be a little work, a little smaller, but not very much. Okay, 
All right, that's that. And I did order the right one. But that's probably not going to be here until uh, a few weeks because that's coming from Malaysia, supposedly. Um, now, we are, of course, we ordered two dresses as well. Um, the same problem, except the disaster of them is not as bad because I can't get into them. It's just that uh, I worried more about my waist than I did my bust, and I should have worried more about my bust and my waist because I unfortunately ordered a dress that was only one size. It was a 2X. It wasn't even any other choices, and I really liked the style, so I bought it, and uh, it's lace. I bought a lace one that was blue and a lace one that was turquoise. And, um, and I, or here, I have them. And the problem is, when it comes to the upper part of my chest, the bust area, I'm a little too busty. <laughs> to really fit into it comfortably. Fortunately, it's cotton, so it will stretch if I wear it enough times. So I will wear it until it starts to loosen up a little bit. But unfortunately, with the temperature says they're going to be for the next few days, wearing cotton that's a little snug is not exactly what I call the greatest idea in the world. It's going to be a high of 31 degrees by Sunday, and uh, by next week, the heat will break and uh, things will cool down. I hope, and we'll find out, right? By the way, for those of you who did not know or did not think about it, I did have my hair in a headband earlier today. Um, I tried to do two videos like that, and under an existing light in here, and it just did not work. Um, it's somewhat behind a cloud, and of course, I was sitting in the dark, like usual. So, um, that's one of the reasons why photography likes artificial lighting, because it stays consistently where you left it, and you don't have to worry about the aggravation trying to figure out where everything is. Uh, unfortunately, this stu the studio is not really set exactly the way I'd like it to be set, but oh well, you try. Um, of course, we are seeing, um, wanted to talk to you about a few other things as well. There's concerns about Lake Mead. Lake Mead is the artificial lake that was created by the Hoover Dam. Um, this large reservoir, which provides both drinking water and water for hydroelectric power has uh, got a problem. It's running out of water fast as the demand is outstripping the reservoir supply. There is concern that in the states of well, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, yes, Mexico as well, and parts of Texas that the, um, if the water level goes below so much, so a few more hundred feet, or not even quite a hundred feet, it could result in a, a federal water emergency in that region of the country. If you look at the state of California, they're well beyond done. Uh, if you look at the uh, hydrology maps, it shows that California is as black it's coal, meaning they're so far in water debt that they have no way that they're ever going to get it back in a reasonable period of time unless they get a steady, constant soaking rain. And if they do get a steady, constant soaking rain because the soil is so dry, it might actually wash a lot of topsoil out to the ocean, so that's no good either. Um, However, the hydrology report also was shown by I me. Mean, Lisa Havens also showed briefly that our part of this country is fine here in the Northeast. We're not exactly in a water shortage at all. We're not exactly in a water glut either. We're certainly holding our own thanks to all the snow we had this winter. And uh, we're going to be doing fine. Um, but this heat wave that we just had today is of course was unexpected and um, is making a lot of people um, 
feel kind of edgy. For some of us, it makes us downright miserable. Now, we will be going back to the original studio in the summer, or the multimedia studio in the autumn area because the fact is that that room has no air conditioning or, for a matter, any windows. That's the reason we use this room instead is because in the summer, not only does this room have the air conditioner, it also has windows. So, even if I don't want to run the air conditioner, I can at least get the cross wall by opening the windows and getting the air in here. Um, now, of course, we have to give you our eye report, don't we? It would help. It would help. So let's try. Okay. The eye, right eye is showing some halo. Nothing as bad as it was pronounced as it was. It's still there. Uh, it's not clear, clear yet. It's still got the halo. The left eye is perfect. Yes. Okay. So, anyway, that's the story basically short and sweet. So, now, I ordered the wrong corset. Why did I, why did I, how did I do that? Well, I, unfortunately, I got it mixed up with the measurements. <laughs> uh, be honest with you. What I mean by that is, is that, um, I tried to choose the right corset size, and the problem was, is I thought that that was the totally closed corset size. Uh-uh. That was the totally open corset size, and I chose to get by a 30, 38 inch. Well, honey, I'm a 42 inch, a 44 inch waist. There is no way I can get into a 38 without the corset in the first place. So, um, this was 18 hours and 50 cents, and I'm going to just go ahead and donate it to the Sip Kitchen, considering the fact that I've eaten many meals there, and I figured instead of me spending a chunk of money to send it back to China, or wherever the seller is, I'm just going to go ahead and gift it to me at the Sip Kitchen, Maybe some smaller person may want this. It's a regular length. It's not a long length. That's not a mistake I made. I should have ordered a long length because I'm a tall person. Sort of tall. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, you're sort of tall. Sort of tall. And you don't think that mouse is still in here, do you? I don't, I don't think so. We had a little field mouse in here. Um... Uh, some time ago, and the Rusty and Fame were giving out little mouses, just call them Jerry for now. Basically, they're beating on them. So, I'm, I'm sure they're still here. Did you ever notice one thing? What? Why is Fame not jumping all over you in here? Good question. He's laying right here on the table. He's laying on the table. He's not jumping on you. He's not jumping on me. Interesting. So I guess um, some of you might like that. Does not have to see my cat in every video. You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now about my cat. He's a good cat. You know, I know him means well. He doesn't want to hurt anybody. He just wants to, you know, he's a, just a good old boy. You know, it's just like the song there from the, um, Duke's Hazard. Just a good old boy. Doesn't mean any harm. Been trouble with the law ever since the day he was born. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, like I said, he's a good cat. He's he has never met harm. He's about twelve years old now. And um, I never really talked much about his age. So I'm gonna just tell you about how he got fame in the first place. His original caregiver, Valerie Slammer, was living at the homeless shelter where I was staying. We were already good friends anyway. And, um, she got out of the shelter, got an apartment after she got a job. And, uh, she was doing good. And then she fell into hard times. And she lost the apartment again. And, um, she had this cat and she had a dog. Now, my didn't like the dog. 
even though the dog was kind of like a Cocker Spaniel Poodle mix. It really wasn't a bad little dog, but, you know, cute dogs. They bark. They poop and pee everywhere, and he was, she was tied up outside my Ed's motor home. And, um, and the um, thing was, Fame was staying with Fluffy, my other cat, the old tiger cat. You know Fluffy, she passed away a couple years ago, 2012. Just a, she died on December 17th, the same day that Adam Lanza broke into uh, Sandy Hook School and killed all the students and teachers. She died at the same time. He opened, up, he opened fire. That's how I remember her death. Um, of course, her death was sad, but it, she was already declining at the time. Uh, so, so for a long time, Rusty, our fame was kind of staying between me and Ed's apartment, and um, Ed decided to go back to Florida for good, and uh, just like before, he asked me to take care of fame, and I said, okay, so that's why I got fame here. Um, he's been with me on and off. Before that, um, Valerie trusted me with fame, and, and then she died from a diabetic, some diabetic shock, and and of course, um, I still have fame, and he's still here. Rusty, I got him this year, last year in June. He's gonna be about a year old in June, and um, he's um, he's full grown. He's a happy boy. He's got apparently a girlfriend cat now, and he's enjoying the pleasures of enjoy, the pleasures of going outside and and having his fun, being around nature. One of the things I always try to do is I try to raise my cats like I would like to be raised, you know, with love and decency, and and I think that makes a difference too because my cats are like they are, you know. Rusty and Fame are very happy cats. They got what they want. They don't need any more. They never been hurt by me. They never been abused by me. They always got the best they could give them, and they have reciprocated by giving me much of the undivided love and attention, which I appreciate. Pretty much all the time. However, sometimes, you know, this cat gets a little bit too much attention and it kind of irritates me, but oh well. Um, anyway, so that's the story with Fame and Rusty for you, is how come they act like they do. It's because they have been allowed to be free range and to be able to enjoy themselves. And uh, that makes them a happy kitty. Happy kitties are easy to handle. They're easy to raise and they... Don't take a lot of work. Um, now, tomorrow I get my hair done. Now, for those of you who did not know, I did have my hair in a ponytail and a headband earlier today because the sweat was just getting a little bit too much. My hair was all over the place. Uh, it's really, gets really, really messy. My hair has the potential to look like Elsa's on Frozen. And in some cases, you have seen where these two wisps come up, just like Elsa's hair, and frozen, okay? But, sadly enough, when you got this hair, stall up in the back, I'll bet her off. <laughs> you can't help that. Yeah, just me. Um, so anyway, when is the new corset going to be here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe couple days, not maybe weeks. Actually, it looks like it's going to be weeks. We'll see. Oh, by the way, the can see eye drops will be here tomorrow. My landlord told the can see eye drops will probably also be here tomorrow. More than likely. So, we'll have both orders of the can see eye drops, and that will be great for my landlord because he wanted to try the can see eye drops as well, and I ordered him a box. He gave me the money, I ordered a box from him. Plus, I ordered a box myself, too. And uh, so we're going to be working on that. Am I going to wear the green or blue dress in the near future? Yeah, maybe by next weekend. Um, it'll be cool enough that um, 
I can start the stretching the material exercises. And I instantly I ordered some bras that are closer to my size. See, because I got a 42C bra um, from the, the department store because I couldn't. I tried to find a 44. They didn't have a 44. I used to be able to wear a 42. Well, I can't wait into a 42 anymore because I'm too damn big. So, and that's not because of fat, honey. That's just the way I'm built, you know. Um, and I um, and I got a, I got a pretty big bust, believe it or not. But I did see the size I needed on eBay, so I bought three of the bras in my size. And um, it's kind of deciding between a B and a C cup. I know I can wear a C cup, but it, it's always like a little bit baggy. So a B cup seems like it's a better size. So I ordered the uh, B size, so 44 Bs. Don't chase me, guys. I really am trying to do the right things. Now, of course, I'm not exactly no fashion model. I'm not a fashion model. And I'm not the most skinny person in the world. And I do not specifically have an hourglass shape. I mean, I have curves, mind you, but they're not exactly very accented. But I got curves, but they're just kind of hard to see sometimes. Part of the problem is that this top here is too damn big. If you actually were the right size top, and if it wasn't hot enough to give me heat stroke, you would see that I have a waist. And unfortunately, uh, some excess adipose tissue, which... I meant I'd like to actually start working and get some off. I said some things uh, a few days ago about, or a few weeks ago when I was at KFC, that I'd rather not be a stick. I don't want to be a stick, but can I be kind of like an in-between? Someone who's kind of skinny, but not like, you know, super skinny. Someone where their frame hangs, I mean, their meat hangs good on their frame. Out uh, looking too gaunt like a scarecrow. I mean, that's what I want. I want. I got. I got padding. I want to hang it right on my body. Okay. Come on. I'm five nine for Christ's sakes. I'm not a kid. You know. I'm not. I'm not fourteen. So you know, I'm forty seven years old. I am. Um, just like every other 47 year old, I have to deal with issues. And my figure is only part of them. And I say it's another one. And I have to go out there and I have to look my best at all times 24 7, 365 days a year. I you like that for gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I know. My hello, Miss Kitty isn't very white, is she? Well, that's because of lighting, actually. Because it sets us up in a hurry. Oh, by the way, did you know that there's actually a boy kitty from the series? There's a boy kitty called Dear Daniel. That's right. D-A-N-I-A-L. Daniel. Dear Daniel is a boy kitty that likes Miss Kitty. He looks like Miss Kitty. He's white. And, of course, you know, I saw a couple episodes of different things where he's portrayed in, in San, Ran San Rio's newest Hello Kitty um, life um, or three-dimensional animated computer CGI program that is going to be released in China and in the Philippines and in Spain. But I don't see a U.S. release, but it did have English captions. Or English speech, so obviously, maybe someday in the future they're going to release an English version of it. Um, I definitely want to get it because it looks kind of cool. 
By the way, the um, um, Hulu Plus carries the Hello Kitty Fairy Tale Theater. It also carries the Archangel Show. It also carries the original Sabrina um, from 1969 to 1972. So uh, they don't carry the very oldest or Sabrina the anime series. However, that is on Netflix, which unfortunately is unusable on my um, Power Mac G5. So that's why I did not buy a subscribe to Netflix because I won't be able to watch it anyway. Will it be visible? Will it be possible to play Netflix on a Hulu Plus? Hmm. I mean, on a Roku box? I'm going to look into that. So, what was we can? Um, I don't know how it does it. But, uh, we'll find out. So, I'll look into that because I'm curious because it would be nice to have a Roku box so I can sit here and watch my favorite TV shows. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I guess that's about it for now. Um, so, don't forget, as I said, on Fr by Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, send your questions for Ask Us Anything Friday. Get them out to us right away, because you got about two days to do it, because today's Tuesday. And you can email them to... B-I-C-H-E-L-A-3 at gmail.com or L-U-M-I-F-I-N-I-S-T-R-A at gmail.com. And if there's a question from one or the other, please say who the question is for, and we will do our best to answer them in a timely manner. And also, if you'd rather Google Plus them instead, it's Plus Michelle Marie Delaney. That's Plus M-I-C-H-E-L-E. M A R I E D S and Dog A L E N E. And if you want to send it to Lummy, it's plus L U M I space F I N I S T R A. And uh, we will watch your, uh, wait for your questions, compile them, get them all together for Friday broadcast. And then we'll answer them on as we read them off our compiled list of questions. And we'll answer them in situ. That is, we are not going to rehearse the answers. We are going to answer them live, right there. Just as we read the questions, we'll answer them. Please no potty mouse. If you do use potty mouse, please be understanding. It will be translated into proper Queen's English. Um, please no leet. I don't know leet. I just know English. I do know some Italian. If you want to ask questions in Italian, too, you can ask questions in Italian. If I have trouble translating it, I can use Google Translate to help me to make sure I got the question right. But more than likely, I can translate the Italian questions myself without too much of a hassle. I do not know French, uh, but I can. I can use Google Translate to help me out here. I do not really know Spanish, but again, same deal. I can translate them anyway. So just send your questions on over, and I will read them. And compile a list all the questions together for today's program. If you miss the deadline, that's okay. We'll save your questions and add them to the queue for next week's Ask Us Anything. And lastly, we will would like to consider trying a live or a telephone interview program in the future. Okay? So what that would mean is is that you and I would agree at a date and time that I would call you back at the phone number you give me and put you on a program and then you will be able to interact with me while the program is being recorded onto uh, the hard drive and then we can discuss questions and topics and things like that as well. But if you're interested in being part of that, uh, please understand that I will be calling you back it will not cost you any money. It's free. As long as within the continental United States. If you're from another country, there may be some difficulties. But uh, we'll take care of that as we get to it. Okay? That's that's not quite yet, so don't, don't get too excited yet, guys. We, I will be showing you the new corset when it comes. 
uh, that said it could be by the middle of May or by the beginning of June, uh, as it apparently implies it's coming from Malaysia. So let me just see how it goes, and um, hopefully everything will go fine, okay? But for now, I'm going to let you go. So don't forget to like or dislike. Share with your friends and enemies. Subscribe if you've not already done so. And if you have comments, concerns, questions, put them in the comments, concerns, questions right down below here, and I'll read them. And if you want anything said for Ask Us Anything Fridays, do not put them here because this is for this video only. If you want to ask us questions for Ask Us Anything Fridays, email us or Google Plus us the questions, okay? That way you can make sure we get the right ones. If you want to comment about anything that's in this video, please do comment in this video below here in the comment section. Okay? Bye-bye, guys.